I, I don't know, guys. It's Friday. I have no idea why Envy's dressed the way he's dressed right now. And I don't know why he didn't wait until April 17th to dress like this. If he was going to dress like a... I don't know. What are you? Are you Crocodile Dundee or a cowboy? I'm a cowboy. You're a cowboy? Yes. Why? I'm getting ready for my Houston car show after the Memphis one. Oh, show him the stirrup. Stand up. Show him the fit. No. Stand up and show him the fit. If, if you're going to dress like that, stand up and show Why? him the fit. Why? Every time you walk by me when I have this outfit on, you look to see if I got on uh, pants or not. Are back. you allowed to be dressed as a cowboy when you're a Giants fan? I'm not think about that one. I'm not that type of you cowboy. You know what Giants fans used to call a gay cowboy? <laughs> what? Tony, never mind. <laughs> you know what? Let's get to the rumors. Let's go. I hate him, man. <laughs> rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. All right, now we're talking Jonathan Majors. Now, jo- uh, Jonathan Majors' lawyer shows text messages from the alleged victim. Now, here's the messages. Uh, you know, he's been saying from the start that his client actually did absolutely positively nothing. That they're saying that his client actually called the police uh, to check on the girl and make sure she was okay. Well, this is what the text messages say. Please let him know you're okay when you get this. Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assure me that you won't be charged. They say they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. I'm so angry that they did. And I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told him it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Just call me when you're out. What is going on? I love you. This is the message from the alleged victim. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then she says, they just called again to check on me and I reiterated how this was not an attack and they did not have my blessing on any charges being placed. I read the paper. They gave me about, uh, they talked about strangulation and I said, point blank, this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all that I can on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior. Out of care. She promised all this would be relayed. He should fire that lawyer because I don't like to see lawyers moving like Twitter ninjas. Like what, what, what is this, the law firm of Shade Room in Hollywood Unlocked? Like, why, why is the lawyer releasing uh, screenshots to the public? Exactly. Like, who you care about, the court of law or the court of public opinion? Like, wh- wh- I guess wh- both. I guess because, uh, you know, public opinion will, you know, is the reason why they pulled the army ad, I'm sure. It's sure. probably the reason why they're going to pull a, a bunch of other things until he's in, until his day is in but court. But who cares about the court of public opinion? Uh, clear that man in, in the court of law, you know? And, and that's, why you, that's why you are uh, innocent until proven guilty. But what is the point of releasing those screenshots? I, I, I don't understand that in any way, shape, or form. I read that yesterday and was completely confused. Right. There was no context to him whatsoever. No. Did the lawyer release a statement with him? Mm-mm. I, th- that's weird to me, bro. Very weird. Some things need to stay old school. And uh, court cases and attorneys and how they move is definitely one of those things that need to stay old school. Because that seemed like some, you know, like I said, like that's that's like some new school Twitter ninja stuff. Release yeah. the screenshots. I agree. Why? Now, three men have been arrested in the attack of Takashi 6ix9ine inside a Florida gym. Three men were arrested. Uh, Rafael Medina, 43, and Anthony uh, Maladano, 25, and Octavius Medina, 23, were all being booked into Palm Beach County Jail on robbery and assault charges. Oh, they, they charged him with robbery? What did they take? Uh, they're not saying what he took, but they said it was uh, robbery and assault charges. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know they hit him with a robbery. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't know what they took. Mm-mm. Now, they're saying his alleged attackers are due to appear in court this Friday, according to uh, WPTV. Well, now, they I, did commit a crime. Yeah, now, I mean, they beat him up. That's <laughs> and definitely they did it on camera. <laughs> but I wonder, since he's a, a governmental informant, if there's different charges. Probably not, because you'd, they, they you'd have heard him. You'd have read him just now. Mm. You know what I mean? But, like, listen, they did commit a crime. You can't act like they didn't commit a crime. And then regardless of if you want to applaud what they did or, or not, they did commit a crime, and they did commit a crime on camera. One of those guys even said, hey, turn the camera on. I want to be famous, too. So now you got to deal with the consequences of that. Yeah, and I, I didn't understand why they did that, because it was their footage that actually came out. Because they told you. He said he wanted to be famous. Yeah, but why do that? You want to go to jail, too? Yeah, you could be famous, clearly. but you want to go to jail. You want to pay a lawyer. You want to go do some time. You want to do community service. That makes no sense. Yeah, here's the thing. Some people are willing to take those charges when they really want to get you. 
You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, not how they tape was, it. you know how when they talk about the, the, the school shooters and how those school right, shooters right, are right. just already, they know they're going to die. Like mm-hmm. they know they're going to commit suicide. They're going to get killed. That's how some of those guys move too. They like, look, we need to get this dude. We don't care what happens. We're willing to deal with the consequences of uh, going to put hands and feet on this on this young man. Jesus. So they got to deal with those consequences. Okay. All right. Well, that, you think they're going to start a GoFundMe? Yeah. <laughs> for I think all Bo- of your, for Boosie, all Boosie wanted to, to start a GoFundMe all for right, them. So. They're going to need it because they got to pay for lawyers. They're going to definitely have to pay for lawyers pay for and, bail. and bail. Yeah, that's right. They definitely going to need it. Unless they got it already. They might have it. But yeah, and that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back. I can't believe you're not giving nobody no context to this outfit you're wearing. You're just sitting here. I mean, I understand you don't understand the word context, but still. I know context. Like, no, you don't. Yes, I do. But why? I fought context. Now I'm. I'm and he won. Yeah, he won the or first she match. Won. Or she won. Yeah, I'm going to yep. get it the second time. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I tell you, uh, I'm, you know, I do, I'm doing a car show in Memphis. Uh, May 28th and shout out to everybody for uh, nobody in Memphis dresses like that no nobody in Memphis dresses like that but I just want to say shout out to everybody that's got your tickets for, for Memphis car show May 28th it's Memorial Weekend of course celebrity bet. cars no there's going to be rides and jumpies for the kids it's going to be bet, food God. and all that so the next city that we're going to announce after Memphis is Houston and this is my Houston can you focus why can't you focus what do you mean you're do, you, you're still doing Memphis. Why can't? Why are you jumping to Houston already? I'm starting the promo for for Houston. I'm just taping it you're, now. You're very confusing. No, I'm not. I'm, this mm-hmm. has nothing to do. It shouldn't even been on air. I was trying to get it off before I got back on air, but I couldn't get the, the, the stirrups off. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm just starting to tape and getting. By the way, Houston. nobody Houston. in Houston dresses like that either. Yes, that I is do. a stereotypical the rodeo Houston was just outfit. There. You are you doing what New Yorkers do when they're trying to make fun of Southerners? That is a stereotypical. Texas outfit you have on. I ain't never seen none of them brothers in no not damn stirrups. Not every New Yorker And that's wears not even a cowboy tennis. hat. That is a that is an Australian outback hat that you have on. You freaking idiot. That's all they had online. This is you're disrespectful. That's all they had online. You're disrespectful. Not everybody in New York don't wear Timberlands. Well, maybe we do. That every, is a lie. Everybody in New York don't wear Air Force. Well, maybe we do. That is a lie. Everybody in New York don't wear Yankee. Yeah, that is a Yankee lie. For this. Every stereotype about New York is true, but that what you're doing right now is disrespectful to Texas. Just want to throw that out there. You don't even have a cowboy hat on, bro. This is a cowboy no, hat. No, it's not. That is an Australian Outback Crocodile Hundee hat. When I, okay? When I bought it online, it said cowboy hat. Damn, you took them stirrups <laughs> off like you wore them before. Yo, shut up. He did. Like, listen, have you ever seen somebody take off a bra and they have the difficulty taking the bra off? Like, whenever my wife asks me to take her bra off, it's difficult for me sometimes, right? Like, mm-hmm. oh, to really put it on. You took them stirrups off easily just now. That was impressive. Like, you took them off and slammed them on the table? What you and Gil be doing, boy? Anyway, yes. Houston will be wow. the next city. I'm going to announce it soon. That's crazy. And up next, we got front page news. Settlin Figaro will be joining us, and we're going to be talking Donald Trump. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Wake That Ass Up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.